Next loser bracket round one, we now have Team True Gravity from India. Going up against E Arena from Thailand. And we have some very interesting team comms right here. Left side, Intellion, Blaster, Super, Krasse, and a Dragonite. And on the right side, we're picking up the Dodrio with Slowbro, Clefable, Busful, and Glacian. Of course, all top tier Pokemon that has seen play in this tournament. It's going to be that jungle duel between a Dragonite and the Dodrio. Let's get it. Another emulation. Best of three. So again, whoever loses this one, will be out of the tournament. Can India finally win their first international best of three? I would really... I mean, they've been showing great games now. And they're very close to it. They're getting closer and closer and closer to it. At some point, it's going to happen. And uh, they've been improving a lot over the last one to two years as a region. We have Fupa against the Clefairy on top with the Buswell. Buswell Blastoise, Blast of course. Classic matchup. Pretty much something we're going to see every single game still. Until the third game, because in those in the third game, most likely Buswell and Blast is very well picked. So if you always head into a third game, at least then we might be rid of those Pokemon. So that's quite nice. That's the, thing, that's the thing about this tournament format and the drafting that makes it much more exciting. No, there's not been a single Dragapult. Dragapult is just completely ignored in the competitive scene. It just doesn't have the same punch that it has in solo queue. It takes a bit too long, it can get invaded. It uh, needs KOs to really get stronger, right? So we already have KOs coming in for India! Three on top! Three KOs for India! Double KO for Dragon Knight. They're gonna score a lot of points, 58 in total. And they're starting off this best of three very strong. And now the Warthog has a one level lead over Buswell, which is very important. Warthog needs to get ahead. Otherwise, Buswell will just be too painful to deal with. Now they're gonna go for a double invade right here. They're gonna invade as Intellion Hooper. Baxeso has to face Stinger back out. So we're gonna head back towards bot path. As Warthog is getting very close to level Ooh, 7, getting super power right here, might get taken down. Nice catch by E Arena. They're gonna return, they're gonna score almost as many points as India did. Xeso is still around now, actually on top path. They're leaving their Crosser currently alone on bot. Classic Fasting, I miss against a wall. I do the same all the time. Like, Fasting, to hit a Fasting on a wall is sometimes more difficult than a snipe shot. I don't know how and why. But I think it's just like, it should be so easy that people don't pay enough attention to it. As Dory goes in, picks himself up a KO. Nice boost out attack forward. It's actually so insane how Dory's boost out attack is just a dash at the same time. Can gain so much distance so fast. Gonna we'll look for the push onto the score. Dragon Knight has Dragon Dance. It's gonna get super power. It has to be careful. It's gonna full heal away from the Smackdown. And it gets to safety as Snipeshots lands down and Warthog gets a KO with Hooper. Onto Buswell in level 7 evolution. It's done now for Blasters. And gonna straight up start this Regilecki. They have Dragon Knight with Beam. Should be easy to pick up. Glacian's gonna steal away a blue buff from Gravity. But they're gonna pick up the first object of the game and high chance gonna walk in they're gonna let it walk in they don't want to clear it it's gonna take way too long and they can score 40 points as dragon knight oh no dragon knight just flying towards bot path you have just gonna pick both objectives up just like this now e arena are under pressure to make something happen as they just lost both objectives back to back so they're gonna make a play happen onto this top path goal but blasters is so tanky right now Sniper lands onto Glacier. I'm gonna pick up a berry for Italian. Uh, Italian steals away berry from blast toys bit unfortunate and E-Arena responds by breaking the top path goal. Make sure they don't fall too far behind too early on. But both objectives went over to Gravity. Yeah, that facing into the into the berry was a bit unfortunate. Blasters almost died to it. But I mean, I think the berry was kind of spawning at the same time as he facing it there, so it was a bit unfortunate. I'm gonna try to score some more points. Strength is flying in though, and it's gonna land on Dudrio. Wait. Did he land in the hype? <laughs> Did he land in the hyperspace portal and got instantly ported back to base? I think so, right? He's gonna go forward now. Gravity looking for the dive. They're gonna get one KO easily here onto Clefable. They're gonna keep on going. Blastus is forward onto Glacion. Glacion, angle of pressure. Barely Jack buns away to safety. But they're gonna break the first goal for themselves now. And Gravity is ahead in points. Xeso looking for the snipe shot. 
can't quite find it. I must keep looking for it. He's going to go for the basic attack. So the snipe shot is going to miss. Just basic attack him at this point. As Blastus goes in, they're going so deep now. But one K onto Glacier and that took too long to go for it. And uh, yeah. Bit of head scratching there when it came to this play. They lose two members for one KO. Because they just took too long to decide. At some point, I feel like just going for the basic attacks or not over committing. Either one of the two things. Um, but yeah, 191 to 117 points. Gravity is in a point lead. Experience is quite close, but also ahead for Gravity. Not by much, as Dodrio is about to hit level 12. Level 13, Jump Kick Plus is where it becomes a big problem to deal with. Dragon Knight also in my level 12 almost. They pick up Reggie Lecky for E Arena, so Dragon Knight's gonna respond. Flies into the spot path, picks up the Reggie on the bot path, Reggie is uncontested. And now E Arena is gonna look for a play on this bottom path goal. Five members are about to appear here against the two, but Hyperspace port is there. They can always port their Krasse down here to defend this goal. And they do so successfully. Snipe shot gets slow, bro. What? How did they KO slow, bro? He's going to fall. And now Bus was engaging. Nice full heal away from the smackdown. And now Mark is on low pressure. He's going to bust free knife move up, but there's hyperspace port on the ground. And he just gets taken down by another snipe shot. Gravity looking great in this opening game. Except for one, two mistakes here and there. I'm not sure. I'm surprised again to see Stealth Rock. I don't know why we have Stealth Rock in this game. Maybe for. Maybe he has anti healing item on. Could, it, could that be it? Don't you get called? That's a massive KO now for Gravity. It could be that he has cursed. The cursed Bagelon. And just wants to apply the anti healing against uh, against um, Cliff Hebel. That could be it, right? That's why he has Stealth Rock. That's the only thing that I can think of that would make sense on why he would go Stealth Rock over Ixis or this game. That could be it. Woman to go into double time. 13 in the half for Dragon Knight. I'm gonna pick up the blue buff right here still. And late game team fighting, I do think, you know, the side of Gravity have pretty good fighting. Crusty Unite has big impact. Hooper Unite, Blasters Unite, all very high impact for Unite moves. On the right side, Slowbro, Dodrio. The rest is kinda whatever. Not really high impact. As Basso goes forward, looking for the combo to Crust, and fights are gonna break out here at 230 for the top bridge Lecky, and Crust is gonna fall. The arena pick up a KO, or they can maybe go for this with if they want to, but a side against it. So, this KO is not going to matter out too much. Crust is going to respawn. But E Arena is going to have position over this mid now. They're going to go very aggressive. They want to make something happen. They're going to go forward. They have to follow me. And they're going to slow bring Knight onto Hooper. Okay, now they have to make something happen. But Glacier already getting hit by a snipe shot. They're stuck by three men still. Look at that rock tomb. Oh my god, Crusty. He finds his three man rock tomb. Won't even have to eject button over it. The huge snipe shot damage and the hyper beam coming through. And now they're in a 4 5 advantage. They're gonna try to go for Glacio next. Where's the next rock tomb? It's gonna land onto Glacio. Glacio can't get over it. It's gonna get taken down. And now India, please just go for Rayquaza with your Dragon Knight. Please. Don't do the same mistake as yesterday. Just just get it done. You have Dragon Knight. They have no last hitting. Okay, okay. They're gonna play it slow. What is Dragon Knight doing? Where is he going? They're gonna go forward now. There's the fight happening. Dodrio's gonna jump in. Very, very deep, but can't fight too much. Hyperspace Portal gets some to safety. Back to full HP. But Intellion is down to the Dodrio. Did they just waste too much time again? But no, Dodrio's gonna fall at least to the Hoop Unbound damage. But Dragon Knight is gone too. And now Icy can speak. Glacian is back alive. It's a deja vu from yesterday. They're too hesitant of making a Rekwaza play happen when they have Dragon Knight. And now Irina can pick up this Ray. It's the same thing that happened yesterday. This have to at some point just go for the Rayquaza. Who's gonna get this one? It goes over! Who's gonna go? <laughs> Blastoise secures it though. They get away with it. As Blastoise secures the Rayquaza for gravity. Not over yet the arena. They can look for a push still. Hooper's running towards the top right side. Getting scouted out by Dodrio though. As Intellion goes very deep, it's gonna get smacked down, but nice P by Blastoise. Gets them away, but uh oh, gravity. Have to be careful. Rock Tomb is going to land, they cannot score any points. Whoever scores, maybe now, can actually win the game still. As Gravity was not able to score a single point, but there's going to be Stealth Rocks on the goal. They're going to get pushed away by Blastoise. 35 seconds left. Blastoise also finds the 3-man Unite move now, and that should be the defense done. 
They're gonna pick up the bus wall and slow bro on Crusher will not be in time. Not enough damage coming through. And Gravity get themselves into a 1 0 lead. Seven seconds to go. More than 100 points ahead. They can just jump onto top left and defend. There we go. 18 points go in. Will not be enough. And Gravity takes the first game. But they have to be more decisive. Really, they have to be more decisive. They just got lucky in the end now, I feel like. I mean, of course, they got kind of lucky. But when two members are down and you have a Dragon Knight, you just go for this Rayquaza. You just do it. That's why you pick Dragon Knight 4. You have to be confident on getting Rayquaza. Draft number 2, we have for Gravity now Metagross being played. With Blissey, Ushifu, Slowbro, Espion. Going up against Dragon Knight now for the South Arena with Lucario, Hooper, Trevenant, and Inteleon. It says 1 0 for Arena. Probably just a bit of a mistake. As Gravity, of course, won the first game. There we go. Now it shows the 1 0 for Gravity. Heading into the second match again. But Ushifu, I don't believe in Ushifu. But maybe we're gonna go for the Rayquaza this time if we get some KOs in. But yeah, we have the Wicked Blow against Hyper Beam Duel. As you have Hooper going for an invade, has you Jake to safety. They're actually double invading. Trevenant's also in the enemy center area. As Kapu's gonna run down Hooper and he's gonna get the first KO of the game. Going over to this Lil Bro. As he has to head back to his blue buff. They got maybe stolen by Trevenant. We're not sure who got it. Trevenant has two points, so actually Trevenant can't get it. You can see on the left that he only has two Aos coins. And of course, the buff gives more than two airs coins, so we know that he didn't get it. Dragon Breath coming forward, looking for the KO, and oh, the shield off the goal is barely enough here. Lucario already level 5 with Power Punch. They get some more points in. Yeah, Metagross is going to struggle a bit until level 5, and they're going to just quick up, pick up a quick KO, they're diving so deep into the Flux Zone. These Pokemon still in their first evolution stage. Going to get punished a bit right now by the early game aggression of Lucario and Dragonair. But now they have your Shifu evolution done. Let's see uh, if the top path of gravity can recover a bit. But well, it's gonna be difficult. Now Shifu can stay top though. And Bedum can go back to the center area and jungle. But this girl, you can see a triple man invade, a four man invade even. All to that buff right here. E Arena is going very aggressive now, going forward, looking for the chance. He can't quite get that. And they're actually not gonna go for the Metagross. They're just gonna try to take away all the last hits in the enemy center area. But there we go, Lucario jumps in and gets the KO done. Rough start for Gravity as Irina is being very aggressive in their jungle invades. As Lobrano is the next one getting targeted and taken down as well. Another KO. Ushifu getting some stacks in though for free. That's quite nice. Pick up those last hits right here. Lucario is letting him do it. And gonna get collapsed on though. I think Ushifu is for sure gonna fall. In a scenario, actually, he's gonna go for a score instead, but he just loses 1v1 to Lucario. Lucario picks up the KO, but they break the goal very early on. This gives Metagross a lot of chance to farm back into this game. If you break a goal too early on, you're gonna spawn a lot of Indies on the right side or left side, and you can see all of these are gonna get picked up. It's actually a Meteor Mash, right? This here correctly? Is it a Meteor Mash? I think so. Maybe not. <laughs> I saw correctly, I'm not sure. And we have 15 seconds to go for the first objective spawn. Lucario now invading. It's his time to invade. He's level 8 though. Close combat. It might be too much right here. Eject button, Vic blow forward. But Lucario has enough distance, but the stalled power. Basic attack will be enough, and Lucario gets punished for this invade. As they're gonna set up for this top objective, but Gravity is around, and they're currently up. One time member, the Zen Headbutt Meteor Mesh build. I respect it, it's something I like to play as well. And they're gonna bring it out here in the tournament. Espion going forward, Regilecki on HP. Ushifu secures it one, and Gravity's gonna go forward. Is gonna go forward, and Dragon Knight barely flies away, but Hooper's gonna fall. Hyperspace Portal. Trevor now trying to buy time, finds a three man horn each. Into the three man Wotama, into the Hyper Beam! And they get three KOs set up by the Trevenant. So much CC coming out. And he sets up his team for the defense. And brings back e Arena after they just lost a few members and also the objective. Now they can all head toward bot path with the insta hyperspace rotation S5. And they're gonna pick up the red giants. <laughs> Power Punch doing so much damage already right now. He is very strong, the Lucario, currently in this match. I want to get, try and go for this goal next. He's gonna go forward. Lucario's going very aggressively forward. Was that a Rocky Helm I just saw? Slowbro's playing Rocky Helm, I think. I saw like a bit of a uh, cloud around him. 
I mean, he's up against Lucario, like a lot of physical attacks, but I don't think that makes sense. Not sure if I saw it correctly. I hope you're not seeing Rocky Helm over here. <laughs> well, it could be. I don't know, it's like, you can tell there's like a cloud coming out of the Pokemon when they have Rocky Helm. It's like, uh, yeah. It's a bit of a fart cloud, you know, that's what it literally looks like. Um, but maybe I just saw things. Who knows? I mean, every single Intellion auto attack might do it, but there's gonna initiate, initiate, I mean, assassinate Intellion right here. Drain Knight flying forward, the fight's all in full force as the Metagross World comes down, but he's gonna get taken down. Three KOs coming in for Lucario as Mark cleans up with this fight. And. Espion Belly gets away. Can we see the items on Unite API? I'm not sure. No, we can't, because they can change them in Drift. And they don't get, like... You can change items in Drift without changing your main build. I think, right? So you can't actually see it on Unite API if you changed his items, you know? I think that's how it works. In Drift. Dragon Knight picks up the Rileki. Yurino now might look for this push onto top of bot goal. Looks like they're heading towards bot path. Or into the Mecentrary again. And Irina now running away a bit with the game after that fail dive. But the experience is still very close. It's actually, Gravity is ahead in experience. Close combat, eject button forward. <laughs> Into the snipe shot, gets the KO, but Oshifu not trying to go for Dragonite. Dragonite fly, flying again, again, just barely. Finds the snipe move onto Intellion. Intellion has no chance. It's gonna get a wicked bloat and taken down. Dragonite's gonna recall. And now they can start up the Reggie Alecki. Or Reggie Steer, sorry. Or oh, Gravity as Lucario picks another KO. Mark having a great game with Lucario so far. Can they pick this one up? Dragonite is around. Wicked blow against Hyper Beam. Who's gonna do it? Oh no, Metacross Unite gets completely disabled by the Hyperspace Portal of Hoopa. So it takes so much damage from this Metagross. There's the Hyper Beam! <laughs> it's not gonna be enough as he gets taken down. He gets taken down. But it's still gonna be two KOs coming in. But also Lucario goes down on top. Game is all over the place now. As Espion tries to score 100 points and might even get Trevenant. Has Unite. Trevenant against Espion? Trevenant against Espion? Oh, no, the eject button away in the Storm Power. What a close fight right now. But he's gonna get Snipe Shot. Oh man. And then the classic facing against the wall miss. <laughs> classic. <laughs> classic, classic, classic. But what a duel. Wonderfully jack button by Espion. Gets the KO perfectly on Trevenant. Then Italian hits the snipe shot. And then, after all of this, we miss the facing onto a wall. I do the same, so it's just how it is. Next up, Regilecki on top. A very action packed game now. Can E Arena come back for the game number three? Or can Gravity again win India their first? India has been so close to winning an international best of three so many times. But they just can't fully do it yet. Vizeki picked up. It's probably gonna walk in. Dragon Knight can maybe go there and fly to his team if he wants to go for a Shiki score. But they're gonna engage onto Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight might be caught. Gets to safety just barely. And there's Lecky is in, but looks like Irina can't go for a push or for a score there. Now Dragon Knight might walk up if he has enough time. He could even fly towards it still. And he can fly towards it and Hoopa unbound into the fight. He's gonna fly onto the goal. There we go. On double time now, gets 94 points in. And now Gravity are actually going for the request. And Tenu's gonna pop Unite. Lucario gets instantly locked up. This assistance goes in. Can they take on Lucario? Lucario super low HP. Fast and exclusive combat. But gets taken down by the Yoshifu or by Metagross. You know, the fight's in full force. It's currently 1 for 1. As Yoshifu's also fallen. Couldn't use Unite move. And Gravity is gonna fully reset. And both teams. Use a lot of Unites. 4 used on the right. 4 on the left side being used. And they're gonna have the reset. But. The arena is no point lead. So Carry is back up with the Knight. Yoshifu is back up with the Knight. We're going to have another fight happening any second now. Yeah, that's Rocky Helm. Lombro does have Rocky Helm on. Oh, the snipe shots are doing so much damage now. Espion has to be careful. Metagross getting hit again. And now Blissey has to work overtime to just keep the teammates patched up. 
But India's running out of time. 1 5 left. They almost have to do something. And it's going for double back cap. And now India have to delay. They have to delay. Dragon Knight's gonna maybe fly towards the enemy base or even try to go for the last hit. There we go. Rekwaza low HP. Wicked Blow though is gonna execute the Rekwaza. Going over. And now, now it's gonna be a race against time. A race against points. Someone might have to recall even. They're gonna score still 180 points into the enemy main base. Did Irina Arena score enough points in this match? Ushif was gonna go through. They might have scored so many points. Where can they even score like another 100 in, but they still need more than 200 points to win this game. Nice play by Irina to just go for some scoring right here. Lucario picks down Espeon. They're gonna go for what 100 points going for Slowbro, but they still need so much more. What can they do? Can they pick up any coins somewhere? Anywhere on the map. They still need 108 points to win this game. Ushifu loses the shield. And just a wonderful play by Irina. They just punish the scoring. Wonderful macro. Able to build a huge lead that Rekwaza in the end doesn't even matter, even though they lose it. So, bad play by Irina. Making use. Someone might have recalled. Maybe if someone recalls, then they can maybe stop it, but yeah. Bad play by Irina. Pilot deciding draft in this loser bracket round one. We have for Gravity going for a Leafion, the Fable Mammoswine, Glaceon, and a Buzzwoy. And on the right side, we have a Zora Comfey being played now by Irina. With Blastoise, Lapras, and Mew. Two very scary team comms. I'm not gonna lie. That's uh, something you can look forward to. I, I can't tell who's gonna take this one. It all, I mean, it all comes down to Zorak, pretty much. What the Zorak can do with that comfy. This will be the end of one of these two teams. Their final chance to keep on going in this tournament. And the next opponent is gonna be quite rough. Whoever wins right now is going to face Unite Holic next. One of the big favorites of the entire tournament. So that's going to be quite rough. But first, of course, they just want to make sure they can get one round further. They don't even think about Unite Holic yet. All they think about is winning this round. And we already have first KO going down for E Arena over to Lapras, who's already going very aggressive. Going to score 11 points on Mew. Maybe Memoswine is trying his house to stop it and has enough attack speed almost for 11 points. Finally going for Mew. But Memoswine is looking for the KO. Onto Mew. Mew's to check one away. Memoswine afterwards, but the ice shard of Lapras buys enough time for Mew to get to safety. Very aggressive. Swine up. But in the end, can't quite do it. Mark now on level 5 with that Comfey. We've only seen Comfey in this tournament with a Zorak. Otherwise, you have never seen a comp player, I think, in this entire tournament. There was only every single time there was Zorok available for some teams. And it's going to try to probably be aggressive now. Already has the comp player on permanently. And they're going to just double and triple invade. No, this time Irina again, just like last game. They're just trying to get ahead early game with these invades. Try to catch them by surprise. But Mew just goes down. Belated there. Gets donked on. And they do get away with blue buff, but they lose one entire member at the same time. And now Clefave is looking for an invade. I don't think you should be invading a Zorak with Comfey. Maybe Clefave is just trying to buy time or like, check where Zorak is around to give his team some vision. Top already looking quite bad. We already have level 7 for Buzzwall. Level 7 Buzzwall against a level 5 War Tortle, so Top has it looking great for Gravity. Yes. It's so difficult now for the Blastoise to come back as super powered. We'll just get every single last hit throughout the rest of laning phase. And he's stuck in a 1v2 kinda, because again, Comfe is just permanently on Zorak already. And gravity will be a problem. Definitely for Zorak. Like picking and picking it into gravity is definitely uh, something risky. You only have one full heal. Illusion doesn't work against gravity. Vulcan's gonna spin to the right side. Gonna go back to his team now. Buzzworm not gonna go down right here. Not taking actually any damage. He's already ahead of Zorak at the same time. So there's a Smackdown superpower coming out. And there's gonna take down the Zorak. This easily. They have no chance. Icy Wind. Build for the Glaceon. Double KO now coming in for the Buzzworm. As they're gonna go for the superpower. They got Spin. Was it Spin Water Spout? Did they just play Spin? Am I seeing correctly? Is that Spin Water Spout? Or was he Hydro Pump? He's playing Spin Water Spout against Buzzwool. Ay, ay, ay. If I was a coach of this team, I would lose my mind right now. 
You're in a nation match and you play... What was that? Okay, what, what is E Arena doing now? You already pick Zora Comfe into, into Clefable and then you pick Water Spout, Rapid Spin into Buswell. In case you don't know, Superpower cancels Rapid Spin completely. Completely. It's one of the biggest counters. That's why people started playing Surf, Hydro Pub on Blastoise. Because Superpower just negates Rapid Spin instantly. He just smashes Blastoise out of it and cancels it. Buswell can do the same to like Covet of Greedent. And anything that's hindrance resistance, he can superpower them out of it and cancel them. So that is why it. Also, the cut. Ah, the... Why do we have cut on Zorak? Alright, Irina, I need to show some. You need to show me some things now. Because I just lost faith in this team. Let's see what they can do. Almost level 10 off for the Glaceon. Gonna pick up that Icy Wind Plus. I do like Icy Wind here too, because the Icy Wind Dash allows you to maybe get away from Zorak. All you have to do is sometimes dodge one feint or one cut now, and then you're able to make sure that Zorak can't chain the feint attack. So having Icy Wind to dodge and also having a bit more instant burst against Zorak is definitely, I feel like, a good decision. So at least the team from India is adjusting well to the enemy team pump. So I really like the Ice even decision. Even though Icicus Spear's core, of course, is amazing into Lapras and Blastoise. And he would like to run Icicus Spear into those two Pokemon. But uh, Icy Wind against the Rock, just against the Rock Comfy, is definitely a good choice. 28 and 40 points for going. Memos Vino has to defend Bot alone. Can he do it? Is the question. Goes in, might unite move, and it's gonna buy a lot of time. This one's about Rips going in, Leafy is gonna jump forward. Zorak's gonna try to score 40 points, but Memos Vino with a huge high, high, high horsepower is gonna buy so much time, and they can actually defend this goal after scoring on top. And now they're just gonna go for the Zorak. And tries to run away. Basu's gonna fly forward. He's gonna pick up the Blastoise. Going forward, it's gonna build up the next superpower any moment now. But now actually gets Bobby Beam, but their superpower is still coming through. And Lapus gets punched down any moment now. There we go. He's gonna score some more points. And uh, there's so much wild Pokemon up right now on bot. They could just farm all of these and have Leafeon head towards bot and score 40 points if they want to do so. But instead, Leafeon is heading towards top path. Leafeon wants to fight over this Regilecki. Gravity wants to take everything now. And doesn't get it though. Faint attack. The fine executor is a bit more damage than Solar Blade, and they're able to secure it. But Gravity is going to pick up the bottom Reggie. I know they can maybe look towards breaking the goal, but it uh, looks like they were not. They're just going to play it safe, defend both goals for now until the Regilecki is cleared. I mean, cut is not bad, but like I don't think cut makes any sense when you already have a Comfe, right? Like, it makes no sense. You rather have the stuns of Shadow Claw if you like. Okay, maybe he doesn't want to. Okay, maybe he has cut. Because Cut doesn't proc Glaceon's passive, so you can actually KO Glaceon with the passive up. That might be the thought behind it, I guess, right? That's the only reason I can think of. It's because it doesn't proc Glaceon's passive. And Shadow Claw does, of course, right? So Shadow Claw makes Glaceon invincible, while Cut doesn't. That's the only thing I can think of, honestly. Um, besides that, with the comp, it doesn't make too much sense. And even then, I would rather just stun Buswell. I would rather stun, you know, Leafeon. Than uh, having a bit more healing. But yeah, it might just be for the Glaceon. He just wants to go for Glaceon. And the cut allows it, you know, not to proc. Yeah, Comfy might... Pre yeah, actually, Comfy will proc it, though. But Comfy just doesn't have to press abilities then. You know, if Comfy doesn't press the second move, then it's totally fine. Then nothing can happen. 25 seconds to go until the finest stretch. And it's going to be the final, finest stretch of either of these teams. And so far, Gravity is looking in a great position to take India's first the best of three win at a international competition. Of course, not quite international. This is just Asia only, but I would still say it's an international competition, right? It's outside of India. So, there we go. And he's had a major tournament. High horsepower onto Blastoise, who's going to use the water spell just to poke a tiny bit, but. Yeah, Irina, I stunned. The Zora comp really hasn't gotten too much value. And now, late game, it's uh, a bit easier to deal with. 
as long as Glaceon stays next to, next to, to the gravity. Um, so Mark has looked for something now. And if you have a level 14 Glaceon, an icy wind and lake game, does insane damage. They're gonna engage here onto Blaster Blasters. You're not moving those rocks, gonna dive in. Onto Clefable, Clefable might be caught. Work in. Can he lift? No, Clefable goes down. Blaster has eject button away. And this could be the window for E Arena now to make something happen. They're gonna try to go for Blast Toys. Icy wind comes down. Blasters goes down. They're still fine. They can wait for their Clefable to respawn now. And if they do, so just any second now, as the rocks gonna dash all over the place. Get back to the right side. India currently still ahead. And E Arena is running out of time. Clefable is back up now. They can wait for their Moonlight healing. And just slowly poke them down. There we go. Where's the Icewing Glacier going? They have to start hitting them though. Rekwaza is low on HP. And it might just turn into a flip in the end. They're going to try to go for Lapras. India now has to play it safe, I would say. At this point, I wouldn't even go for the flip. I would just try to go for Rekwaza. And they get it though. They do get it. And India, they're going to win their first best of three at a major international competition they have done it they beat down the best team from thailand who was also at the world championships the arena is a great team and gravity they're gonna move on they're gonna face unite holic next let's go india